Isaiah 40, 28. Had thou not known, had thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the end of the earth, fainted not, and neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. I'm going to talk today for a little bit from the scripture. Give me 10 more minutes of cozy time today. And I'll be through. And my subject for today, if you want to soar with the saints, you got to come out of the chicken yard. Or if you want to put it, if you want to soar with the eagles, you got to come out of the chicken yard. Look at the persons next to you and ask them this question. Are you a chicken or an eagle? If you are an eagle and want to soar with the saints, you have got to come out of the chicken yard. I want to talk a little bit about a chicken. I, I was raised, some people don't, don't won't say where they were raised. I was raised in the country. And people that in the country, they always drew everything that they ate just about. They had a bunch of chicken. They didn't have to buy no eggs. They had cows. They didn't have to buy milk and butter. They had hogs. They didn't have to buy no bacon and ham. <laughs> they grew collard greens, peaches, pears, picked blackberries, and huckleberries, which some of you all don't know. And they would cane all of this stuff and put it in the pantry. They made their own lard. They grind their own meal. And they bought a little flour. So I'm, I am a country boy, and I grew up around chickens. So I know a little bit about a chicken. Let me talk about a chicken. A chicken like to hang around the hog pen. And that chicken is always scratching in mess. A person that has a chicken spirit Keep confusion going on in the church all the time. They always want to scratch in mess. Something else about a chicken. They like to follow cows too. Because after cows drop their dropping. Here go the chicken. The chicken scratching, trying 
to get a meal. So you got a lot of, when, when, you, when I say chicken, you see chickens, chicken hang round in dirty environments. When you got a chicken spirit, uh, you hang with fornicators. You hang with homosexuals. You hang with lesbians. You even do a little sipping and a drinking. Some and the fornicators. And I know, I know, I know y'all want to say, I want somebody told me one time, said, man, man, I, I, I told them, brother Charlie, Ella Charlie was there. They were talking about, we're going to teach you this, and we're going to teach you that, and we're going to teach you homiletics, and we're going to teach you business, and we're going to teach you all of that. I said, when are we going to hear something about salvation? And the man looked at me and said, you mean to tell me we got to teach, preach about salvation? They saved. And he talking about all the lawsuits, the church fighting, all the sexual abuse, all the abuse of little boys in the church. And, and, and I said, and, and, and y'all fighting all these cases, and y'all want to say the preacher saved? Now, all the preachers are not in that category. <laughs> but when you fight lawsuits about preachers and mess with some young boy, some lady that mess with a child or whatnot, now you can't tell me, they say, you can't tell me that. You can't tell, I don't care how gifted they are. You can't tell me they're saved when they're dipping and dabbing in the chicken yard. I don't agree yet. You see, the Bible say we are bought with a price. And therefore, we are no more our own. And for that reason, we need to glorify God in our body, in our spirit, which is his. And you see, chickens sometimes be bought. But they want to work under the same regime. When somebody buy a business, sometimes they bring in new policies and, and different policies. And, and they don't work under the same policy as the old company. Because sometimes the old company is using old, outdated policies. And that's the reason they go out of business. So... We will come in. Now, y'all you, read that scripture. It say, you're bought with a price, and, and then it goes on to tell you what you need to do. But you see, after Christ sometimes save us, we don't want to work under the new management. We still want to do those things which the devil called for. And any time anybody buy a business, they have a right to put in their own policies. So when Jesus bought us back from under the bondage of the devil, he didn't let us stay there. He transformed us from under the power of the enemy into the light of his son. So now, if we gonna soar with the eagles or with the saints, we got to get rid of that chicken mentality. Yeah. 